Is this the future of desktop computing? I'm Lance Yolanoff, Editor-in-Chief of Mashable at South by Southwest 2013 at the Leap Motion Experience. We're finally getting to try out this, this really innovative little tool. Plugs in via USB, turns eight foot cubic space in front of your desktop and laptop into a motion control experience. Can control games, your desktop, and other unique apps that are being built specifically for this. So when I put my fingers in, it sees all 10 of them. You see me going up and down. If I, there's just one finger and it's got, I mean, it's so tight. It's so precise. And of course it has to be because unlike Connect, where gross motion is going to work you know, when you're controlling your Xbox 360, this has to be precise enough to control the desktop experience, whether or not it's really been designed for it. So obviously, if you're using like Windows 8 and you've got the little start button and your folder buttons, you want something precise, but you also can do things like build, you know, do different games and artwork. But this is pretty cool stuff. There's at this show to show. Yeah, and then if I. Up and down, there you go. Actually, and then I'm going straight into the top. They tell me tens of thousands of people have ordered this $79.99 product. And this really, this technology can go almost anywhere because inside is off the shelf products. The secret sauce is in the software. So as I go around, what you see is it's got the whole space here. It is not just about a flat space. And that's going to be important for doing things like pushing. If you want to push in and out, push a button. Critical for control. So we think all the real use cases outside of the living room are wrist down, uh, whether it's robotic surgery or playing, you know, a, a drop cord on your, on your PC. <laughs> this is the angry artist. I don't like this anymore. Pretty impressive technology. My bad artwork aside, but that was total beta. That other stuff, the gaming, the desktop control, that mount, you know, molding 3D clay. I think that stuff people are going to want to get their hands on. So uh, that's it, and we'll uh, see you at other parts of the show.